What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here and today for you I have another episode of my FIFA 14 Real Madrid career mode and today's episode we have how many matches? We have two matches and uh, the first match is against Barcelona, the Super Copa España and uh, yeah, so lately guys um, I've had a bit of a break from FIFA, the FIFA 14 Real Madrid career mode in particular I sat down to do a recording session with Real Madrid and I thought, nah, I'm going to have a little bit of a break. Uh, I'm going to start off with a new career mode just to kind of muck around with it and test out some players. So I decided to do a career mode with Everton. Um, that was awesome. Um, I had a lot of fun with Everton and I might even think about doing a career mode in the future. I had Lukaku, I signed Ben Teke from Aston Villa. Ben Teke and Lukaku up front, absolutely awesome. Lukaku is so good in this game and so is Ben Teke, holy shit. But mind you, Ben Teke was amazing last year as well, so it's understandable he's good this year. Uh, Lukaku, I didn't really play with him much last year in FIFA 13, but I kind of got the general consensus that he was an average sort of player. He, wasn't, he was all right. But in real life, he's going absolutely ham at the moment, scoring so many goals for Everton, and that uh, Belgium link up with Muralas is awesome. Um, what was I going to say? So yeah, um, you might be thinking, why the hell did I sign Ben Teke? Well... I guess Lukaku and Benteke are very similar players. Um, they're both Belgian, obviously. I guess uh, Benteke is just a little bit taller than Lukaku, and they just work so well off each other. If you guys are interested in the career mode, uh, I'll just quickly tell you some of the players I'm signed, and then uh, I'll get on to my actual Real Madrid career mode. I actually loaned Dressy Rodriguez for Real, Real Madrid because I did give him a very unfair go at Real Madrid. He didn't really fit into the sides. Um, he was too. He's too young. He was didn't. Have, he wasn't a high enough rating, and to be coming up against teams like Barcelona and whatnot, he didn't play very well. And uh, obviously, in this career mode, what I'm doing is I'm loaning him off until he gets to that peak, and then I'm going to sell him. I have no interest in playing him. But to be honest, in the Everton complete mo career mode and in the Premier League, he actually played quite alright. I also signed Shakiri from FC Bayern, and I loaned Varane. And uh, fucking Baines in that uh, in FIFA 14 is absolutely incredible. So uh, unfortunately, we concede another penalty. That's the second penalty of the day. Uh, a shocking, shocking challenge by Varane there. And um, guys, I just would like to ask you a question: Would you like me to start live streaming career mode? Because when I did that um, career mode, that Everton one, I thought I could be recording this. I could be live streaming this for you guys, and I could get instant feedback and opinions from people. So, yeah, um, would you like me to? I can't live stream at the moment because um, it's my last two weeks of school, and I have exams soon. And if I organise a time, I don't know whether or not I will be able to live up to it because I don't know what I'm doing the next day or so. I might be doing a shit ton of homework. I might be going out with mates. It's kind of all up over the place. So. If you guys, uh, not not now, but in the not so soon future, would you like me to live stream career mode and do like a one to two hour live stream and uh, then uh, play a couple of matches with the career mode and then if you guys are enjoying it, I can continue it or um, if, you're not, I can just, if you're not enjoying it, I can just leave it at that. And if you guys miss out on the live stream, I can just upload to YouTube. So it's a win-win situation. You guys get content uh, live and... Uh, yeah, so we end up winning, um, we end up beating Barcelona 4-0. Now, funnily enough, uh, I was looking at the, uh, looking up the upcoming fixtures, and we have a fixture against Riem Castel. So, essentially, that is the equivalent of the Barcelona B to Barcelona. So this is like the reserves team we're playing. I'm, I'm guessing that's it, because it has the exact same logo as Real Madrid. And uh, so we're versing a youth squad in the Liga BVA, which is kind of weird, but um, I kind of wish in FIFA 14... This is what I'm guessing. I haven't really looked up about this, but I've kind of assumed that because Barcelona have a Barcelona B team in the, the second league as well. So, um, yeah, I kind of wish in FIFA 14 you'd be able to uh, use your uh, use the squad. I get, fuck, uh, use the, uh, the second squad, the whatever, the reserves. That's, not, that's, not, that's the word I was trying to figure out on. So, basically, I thought, why not let's give every young player a run, say Ake, uh, Ricardo... Alaba, Balakai, Royce, Isco, Balotelli, Jesse Rodriguez, and I thought, why not? It'd be kind of cool to verse Real Madrid versus Real Madrid, and it's kind of cool f seeing the two logos up there. Obviously, we've got the exact same kit, so I'm, I'm just assuming that this happened, and I thought, why not? This is a good opportunity 
settings that I think you guys would be... You've been a little bit angry that I've been simulating matches, and I've gone into why that I have been simulating matches, but I thought... Um, I thought it'd be kind of cool, and uh, I, hopefully we can give the reserves a bit of a bashing around, or we could even, in fact, lose, seeing as we're playing with a team that I've never played before. I'm playing with the reserves, but um, yeah, it should be fun. I'm hoping that uh, even though Balotelli and Royce aren't really... They're kind of on the reserves. They're on the substitutions more likely and um, more more so than any other. I did play Isco because he's young and I thought I didn't want to really want to play Adrian and I thought he's, he's he, was, he had an all right amount of fitness. So there is the um, the RM Caster squad. If you guys would like to have a look at that, I just thought it might be interesting for something to know. So on to the gameplay now and uh, Jesse Rodriguez or um, yeah Jesse Rodriguez making an outstanding run there. Um, hopefully, I, I decided to play him in this match because I thought I'd give him a bit of a run, see if he can live up to himself. But it was Balotelli to open the scoring in the 16th minute, and Balotelli is so good on this game um, in career mode. He's, he's 80, I think it's an 89 overall I got him for. He's absolutely crazy. I haven't played with him on Ultimate Team or anything, or just with his normal rating because this is three seasons away. I, I don't even know what his rating is at the very start. I can't quite remember. A very good ball there, just falls short to Royce with a nice finesse and uh, gets stopped by the keeper twice and then it was cleared by um, the opponents. Balotelli to Isco to Royce sees Balakai on the run and that was an absolutely superb run there. Four star skills, four star weak foot, he's going to cut back in and unfortunately the shot gets deflected, that would have most definitely gone in. Jess Rodriguez is making another run to Balotelli and Balotelli is going to score another goal, he's just so awesome. And uh, he's going to be an awesome replacement for... I don't know. He, he, I would play him in the first team if I could. But unfortunately, um, he just doesn't fit into the squad. I just prefer Neymar and uh, Bale. And uh, Bakalai or... Uh, Bakali, is it Bakali or Balakai? I think it's Bakali, not Balakai. But um, he ends up getting on the score sheet. So the match ended 4-0. Uh, Balotelli scoring a hat-trick and then Balakai... In the uh, to pretty much seal the deal, and Mario Balotelli got an 8.7, and that team was awesome. I had so much fun. I ended up bringing on uh, a couple of players off the bench. We did dominate them, and I'm quite happy with the results. So, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Simpsy. I'm out, ladies, my friends, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day after you watch this video. So, goodbye. Hey, guys, just before I leave you today, I would like to go and please follow me on Twitter. It's the best way to interact with me. If you've got any questions at all, message me on Twitter, and I'll reply to absolutely everything. On there, you'll be able to see Let's Plays coming up, when I've posted a video, and all that good stuff. So, uh, also, if you'd like to subscribe to get all the recent up-to-date content on my channel. So, bye, guys.